Hey guys, what's up? Nick here once again, and we are back with some Rogue Company. Now, don't get me wrong, this video is not saying like, I'm gonna make a ton of content on this game by any means. This is strictly just me coming back to it. I reinstalled it this morning, come back to it to see how is the game running in, what is it, what are we in April now? April of 2023. And I'm really curious if the servers are still alive, if there are people still playing this game. I follow their social medias. It seems pretty dead from what I've seen. And it's sad because I used to be a huge, huge fan of this game. Um, I mean, uh, level 92 isn't super high compared to how many other people have played this game a ton, but I, I have roughly 100 plus hours in this game, maybe more than that. And I had an Epic and then it came to Steam and yada, yada, yada. So I really enjoyed this game for what it was. I liked the third person nature of it. It was fun. It looked good. It played really well, but then it ran into some issues with cheaters and there was a lot of stuff like that. And they just didn't update the game properly. They added too much aim assist for the controller players. And yeah, the game just died off. And that's actually, ironically, some of my most viewed videos on this channel have been from Rogue Company back in the day, if you want to go check them out. But that being said, I'm really curious to see, does it still feel the same as it did, you know, like a, over a year ago when the last time I played this game? Let's, let's check it out. I also noticed there's now supply drops, which is not good to see. So I don't know if this is stuff you have to pay for. This is just like, hey, we're going to give you one for free just so you can get a good look at it. But yeah, it looks just like any regular <laughs> supply drop thing, like the, the crate system. So not yeah not good to see there that's kind of yeah it's a yikes let's just go into a da do they have deathmatch yeah let's do a 6v6 deathmatch and just see what happens how long it takes to find a match if there even is anybody playing this game when i looked at the steam servers oh we found one wow that literally only took like a minute when i looked at the steam servers the records or whatever this game has like a peak of about a thousand players a day so uh, not very good but now that is steam just by itself there could definitely be more players online on you know playstation and whatever because i do have cross play on but yeah it's just very interesting all around uh there's so many new characters too that i have no idea what their abilities are what they do the last time i played i think she i think switchblade was brand new i think that's it uh man i had no idea who to play i don't remember what anybody does let's just do lancer I think she like runs really fast or something like that. I also hear somebody's mic and they're like eating chips, so I'm gonna have to mute their ass. Yo, Ty, what you doing tomorrow? Yeah, Ty, what are you doing tomorrow? They still got the same intro but different music now. That's funny. It's just like I'd like a second set of eyes, okay? A lot of Twitch streamers. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. Alright. Sensitivity still feels okay. I don't think I need to change any settings here. I always, with this game, I never felt like I got that good of performance with it. I'm getting 100 plus frames, but I have a 4090, so I feel like I should be getting pretty good frames with the game. But seeing that it's still dropping below 100 is kind of, eh, it's kind of yikes. God, this is so weird coming back to this game. Going to third person after playing so many first person games feels so weird. See if I can get this guy. There we go, we got one. There's two. Okay. There we go. That was nice. Okay. We're doing okay. I want to see you also revive health after, yeah, a few seconds, so we're good there. I want to say she's also silenced with her footsteps when she's got this on. I don't know why you challenged that, bro. That was crazy. What do you mean, Lancer? He literally challenged me like an idiot. That's why he died. Oh, there's one right on me. My first death. <laughs> oh, we do have a store. Okay. So just like before we had the upgrades, we have our katana... Okay, we didn't have we didn't have much money, but we got a couple upgrades in our gun. Got her. Whatever. Oh my god, that man blew up. 
Here, take that. Oh, I stuck him with a grenade too. That was sick. Whoa, leg. Hello. Good server. Can I get up here? The verticality in this game was always really good. I never really had any issues with the movement. Same with the maps. I never felt like I hated the maps in this game. I always felt they were pretty decent. Did not know there was a guy right there. Let me get my grenade back, please. Yeah, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> oh, dude, look at this. The clutch. Clutch revive. Oh, and the guy jumped up above. Their whole team was there. That revive was clutch, though. This game still feels good, man. I don't know. It still feels good to me. What the hell? My money. You bitch. I always taking my money, man. I don't get it. Oh. Yeah, that blood drain was worth it because I got health as soon as I killed the last guy. Enemy needs one kill until victory. Damn. This is a close game though. I mean, I can't say that was a bad game. Yeah, I didn't do amazing, uh, but I also didn't do terrible. I did, I at least went positive in my kill death ratio. Oh, this is new. So they have MVP. Still no play of the game or anything though, which is kind of a bummer. So there's definitely things they've upgraded uh, for the better, I would say. I mean, the new ending screen, the new intro. I mean, the intro is the same, just new music, I suppose. New main menu, because this looks a little different. It's relatively the same though, but at least it has a background. Before it was just like a blue blank background. Let's try the regular gameplay, or uh, game mode, which would be, what the hell is Wingman? Quick play. It's like 2v2, what? Man, they're trying so much different stuff. Uh, I think it's demolition this is the main game mode, right? We'll do demolition. Let's see how long it takes to find a game in demolition. If we find a match just as fast as uh, TDM, I'll be pretty happy. Because that was li literally like, I think 30 seconds, not even. It was pretty quick. Yeah, look at that, 16 seconds. So, I don't know. I can't really say this game's dead if I'm finding matches this quickly. I gotta, I gotta say, I'm pretty, I'm happily surprised there. And th and it's not even like a crazy, you know, it's not a weekend or anything. This is Tuesday night. So, yeah, let's just switch blade. All right, getting into it. Now that's time we have to buy stuff right away. So let's get life drain. Dying enemy heals you 25 health. We'll do a grenade. This map looks the same. It doesn't, I mean, they added a pool. That's new, I think. Cosmetically, it looks different, but layout, it's pretty much the same. Oh god, they got a rocket launcher. The fuck? Oh my god, look at that double. That was actually pretty crazy. Wow. <laughs> Well, that was a good first round, eh? I forgot they had these like Fortnite dances. <laughs> you can tell it, yeah, I put money into this game back in the day. I bought the battle pass and stuff because, you know, I wanted to support them. Because I truly did enjoy this game. Oh shit, I didn't mean to put that on his feet. Oh, it worked out. They really nerfed her rocket launcher though. It used to be an insta kill, like if it was in the radius at all. Oh, she's so dead, dude. Come on. Faster, faster, faster. Got you. Everyone has their uses. I don't know if they're gonna come all from behind. Oh no, we're good. Great work, team. Hell yeah. Let's see, increase explosion radius. I mean, shit, we took out two of them, which is one with the regular. I'm gonna do an upgrade on the gun. Oh, we can do both, why not? Damn, not even a hit marker, bro. Me, Una. 
Come on, Pete. There we go. Oh shit, I forgot about her flame things. Oh, the jump shot got her. Let's go. No, I ADS. That was so dumb. That's a cool skin. What the hell? I think that's me, right? Same character. Not sure what she was thinking. Me. Oh my God! There's so many people here. Oh, I thought there was only two left, not just the three. That sucks. Use those corners. I would rush them. Just rush them, man. Gonna have to to get that plant. I wonder if they change it for the diffusing. Does it stop the timer when you start diffusing? What are you doing? Bruh. What? What the f- <laughs> What? Were they, were they trolling? Or did they legitimately not know how to defuse? Let's see. I can't see the timer. That's great. I can't tell. It sounded like actually it kept going. So did they change it finally where it doesn't? Because before, if you started defusing, the timer would stop. It wouldn't matter. Even if you're like seconds away, you know what I mean? And I always hated that, so I hope they change that. I forgot there's different guns too. You can swap to an SMG as well. Oh, seven available. So you can switch to like any gun now? Different pistols too, melee. Huh. I don't know if I like that because the biggest thing before was your character was pretty unique. Not only in their look and their special ability, but in their gun and their entire loadout was different. But now it seems like you can have any gun with any character, so I don't know if I like that. Why not here? Just gonna camp right here. I'm not sure what their plan is right now. It's gonna kill me. <laughs> Damn it, I tried to get out of the way. I don't remember her skirt having physics like that either, where you can see underneath it. I think that's an update. <laughs> I could be wrong though on that, but I, I don't remember her skirt like that. Oh, they're a sniper. Oh, shit. Didn't realize that. How do you ask for like... All right, don't, okay. Don't revive me, I guess. All, opponents eliminated. Great work, team. All right. I don't know why my teammates don't want to revive people. You get points for it too. Ain't no way she's got through all that. Yeah, there we go. Good game. I didn't really do too much, but we got to win. Hell yeah. MVP. So even if you're on the losing team, you can still get MVP. Or maybe these are my teammates. I don't even know. I know Dallas is on my team. Okay. Well, that's cool. I mean, it's one of those things where... I would have to play a lot more matches to know if like the balancing and everything is still good because I felt back in the day I, I always felt the balancing w was pretty good it was they started adding these new characters into the game and I felt like the new characters ironically were were bad a lot of times in these games when you add new agents or whatever that have new special abilities they usually are overpowered and then just start scaling them back but I always felt like the, the newer people were always pretty piss poor and then they had to kind of buff them as the time went on and then it became unbalanced but that being said 
balancing so far, I mean, even those two little matches I played, feels pretty good. My only real gripe that I've seen with the updates is they made it that every character pretty much can use any gun or weapon they ch they want with with each character, which I think is kind of a bummer. I liked the balancing of having like, oh, if you play Dallas, you get this specific rifle and this specific handgun or a deagle pistol as your secondary and so on and so forth, right? But now they made it to where every person is pretty much the same except for their one special ability, which like for uh, the girl I was playing as, her special ability was the rocket launcher and then some, like Talon was a little thing he sticks to walls and it's like a heartbeat sensor. Stuff like that, right? Which still makes the game unique. It makes the character unique, I agree, but it, I don't know. I think I kind of like the other way it was where it made the gun specific to the character as well. So, I don't know. I guess we'll have to play some more matches in the future and kind of stick with it and see if it's still good. For me personally, it still feels like it runs really nice. I didn't really seem like I had many performance issues. Uh, the servers felt pretty good. I had one little leg spike in Demolition, but that could have been my internet too. It didn't necessarily mean it's the game. Uh, teammates could have been better uh, for sure. I mean, it, it really felt like more people were playing kind of solo like Call of Duty. When they should have been playing more tactical like with no with nobody trying to revive at all nobody like doing any call outs or any pings and and granted i wasn't really either but i was at least trying to you know stick with my team or at least try to revive them if they went down so i don't know it just uh it really comes down to is there other options out there that are better than this and right now i would have to say yes i, I think valorant and csgo 2 now coming out is they're just way too big of a competition for rogue company to stay alive sadly uh, I would love for this game to stay alive and the people to come back to it and give it a chance, but there isn't enough here that's unique enough to make me want to switch from, like I've been playing a lot of Valorant, right? So there's nothing that's really unique here that makes me want to switch from Valorant to come play this or tell my friends to, hey, come play this with me. So I don't know, maybe they can come up with something, switch it back to the way it was, because again, I liked it more when it was more unique to each character with their own loadouts versus having a loadout for every single character. But I don't know. What are your guys' thoughts on Rogue Company? Are you a huge fan of the game? Do you still play it? Is that the reason you found this video? Let me know in the comment section below. I love hearing you guys' thoughts on this stuff. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you in the next one. And make sure to leave a like to show your support. Have a good one, everybody. Peace.